Hello Android users, today I'm going to show you how to run Diablo 1 on your Android device. Here you can see my HP touchpad running CyanogenMod 9. Now you're going to need a Windows emulator. I have one here. I'm going to start it up and you're also going to need your Diablo 1 CD. Now I'll provide you with the emulator and you'll need to put an ISO image of your Diablo 1 CD into the folder with the emulator. Now you'll need this in order to run the game. And here you can see my emulated Windows 95 desktop starting up. My Diablo 3 desktop. Here you can see my Fallout 2 EXE and my Diablo 1 EXE. So I have these simultaneously installed and I simply need to change my CD image from my SDL config file to go from one game to the other. Right now I have Diablo 2 installed. I'll show you here in my computer. You can see my Diablo 1 CD is mounted. I can explore it. I should mention that you can pair a Bluetooth device. I'm using a keyboard. Works fine. And here's all the menus inside of the Diablo 1 CD. Now if you're already running Fallout 2 and you have a Fallout 2 CD or a .vhd image, you can simply install Diablo 1 onto your PC, patch it, and copy and paste the Diablo folder from your program files into the program files on your VHD by mounting it in Windows. And you can see here, here's my Diablo folder, and here's my Black Isle folder for Fallout 2. So you can have these simultaneously installed. Of course, for both these games, you will need to include your own CD image. Now let's show you some Diablo running on the HP touchpad, the emulated Windows 95. Now please note there is no sound in the emulator, but you can always play sound in the background on your touchpad device by bringing up the menu. Oh, blizzard. These were the good old days when you could play offline, unlike Diablo 3. Now all the movies and everything seems to work fine. Load times are reasonable. No sound, of course. And it's reasonably stable, meaning it does crash. So you'll want to save often, but you can save and load your games. And there's been a little problem with some of the rainbowness that is experienced in Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 on PCs. But it still runs fine. I'm going to load up my single player game. That touch is a little finicky. And you'll need to use the volume button toggled up and down for clicking on enemies and attacking and pretty much everything. And a mouse and keyboard would help as well. There's my character. Load him up. Now load times are reasonable, but there is a bit of a wait. Remember, we're emulating Windows and then trying to run Diablo inside of that. Then I'll show you a little bit of the gameplay. And if you're so inclined, you can download the emulator and try this out for yourself. Here we are in Tristan. Let me hang a little here and there. Let me just start it up. We can talk to Deckard Kane. Now there's no audio, unfortunately, uh, but you can read the dialogue. Let's go explore the dungeon.
And you can save and load like normal. I would suggest doing this often. Kind of need to run this though at all. I was playing around with uh, running this on a Windows 98 uh, with sound, but it's just far too slow. I'm also taking a look at Diablo 2. I wasn't having much success launching it, but I have been able to load it to some extent. That'll keep you posted on that. You can also check out my Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 videos if you'd like to run those on your Android device. Here we are in the dungeon. Let's go find some bad guys. If you're interested, you can check out my running Diablo 3 video on the HP Touchpad with Android, CyanogenMod Mod 9. And I do that with the Splashtop APK program and I stream it from a server running off of my PC. Now this is completely running off of the touchpad itself. And all you'll need is your Diablo 1 CD, the emulator, and you may need to modify the SDL config file for the emulator just to make sure it corresponds with the name of your Diablo 1 ISO. I believe mine's called D1. As you can see, it's quite playable. That's just running a little music in the background, a little audio playback if you want to try this out. Don't forget, you can run follow two simultaneously simply by switching the ISO files. This is my inventory. Oh yeah, you can also use the keyboard, but I've mainly just been touching it. And when you're a little tired of the hack and slash, you can go to your menu. Save your game. Go to your menu again. And quit Diablo. And remember, when you're running your Windows 95 emulator, you're going to want to shut down just like a regular computer so you don't have to run Scandisk when you start up. And there you have it, Diablo running on Android. I'll shut down. And back to my desktop. Now, in your SDL folder, which is the folder, folder you need to add to your Android device and install an APK, an SDL APK, for the emulator to run. Now, here's my file manager. I'm going to navigate to my SDL folder. You'll notice there's quite a few folders. Oops. Now, inside of this folder, I have an SDL config. Now, if I open this, you can find the text here, and here's the part pertaining to my ISO folder. So you just want to make sure you put the ISO for your Diablo 1 into the folder, and you have the corresponding name here, it's d1.iso, and then it will run it automatically, and you'll be able to play the game. Anyways, please give me a big thumbs up, 
Thanks for watching. Remember to click save before you exit. You modify the file and then you can go right back into loading it. Anyways, have fun playing Diablo. Thanks for watching everyone.